Well, everyone, good morning. I'm home. Well, this is my official home here in Livingston, Texas, here at Escape East. So, uh, had some business to take care of, and I am happy to report some good news finally. As I was driving through East Texas yesterday, I got a, an, an email with a scanned picture from Escapees showing me that my bank card had finally arrived. And I have already picked that up today. So uh, the other thing is today is going to be a crazy day as I make a bunch of changes and fix, fix all these problems so that they don't come back. Part of my process is to change most of my automatic payments to be linked with my account number and routing number instead of a bank card that I can't control. And also, I've got to sit down and change 16 other cards that I can't change, you know, because like YouTube and Netflix and stuff like that, it has to be done with a card with an expiration and stuff. So I got to sit down and manually change all those over today. Plus, uh, other mail that I got here was my uh, 1099 from PayPal and my 1099 from Google YouTube. So I got my tax forms to be able to start filing for my 2019 taxes. I am going to get started on those with TurboTax. I will not finish it in one day, but it'll feel good to get a jump start on that today. I do feel like it's easiest just to stay one night here, even though I'm just passing through to collect my mail and get a couple things. It's just, uh, it's more convenient to book one night, have the RV parked here so that I can scoot on the motorcycle, take care, and just kind of relax and regroup. Because I, I did do a lot of driving these last couple weeks. I never have a problem getting the campsite here either. They're, uh, they got a lot of sites here at Rainbow's Rainbow's End area. And this is where I'm at, kind of in the woods, kind of big slots be between me and the other RVs. 22 bucks a night for full hookups, really ain't that bad. But as I hinted at, uh, I'm gonna have to come back here either end of February or the 1st of March because I didn't get everything I needed. You know, I gotta take care of registration and inspections. I gotta get the motorcycle inspected. And uh, there's a couple other funny things going on that I'm, I'm going to wait till I get them resolved. I'm just laughing at it now, but doesn't matter, man. As hard as you try, sometimes things just don't work out the way you planned. And uh, I, I'm, I'm in a good mood about it. It's funny. Uh, I'm going to hang out in Texas and go explore some new stuff in Texas here. But I want to get a little bit of work done. So let me log in about four hours here, see how far I can get with all my bank cards and taxes and stuff. And then I'll, I'll talk to you here in a bit. I'll uh, show you something real quick here that I'm not too happy about. I had mentioned a couple weeks ago that I was looking forward to the new Mickey jacket because I found my same extra large version in a large version. And I ordered it because I've been shrinking in size. And uh, well, it arrived here in Livingston. And not all jackets are created equal or taken care of the same, obviously. So not sure how well the camera's gonna pick this up. This is my extra large Mickey jacket that I have taken care of really, really well, okay? And then here's the one I just got on the right. <laughs> the white, actually it's not really showing up, I'm looking in the monitor, but the white is very, very yellow and stained. Here, let's see. Can you see the cuff? Okay, so. And it doesn't feel like a, like a soft leather. It feels like a very, it's just a much different feel. There, there's a good shot. You can see how yellow this is. And I, oh, and the Mickey emblem right there is really dirty. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, yeah. Dang it. Anyway, no, no biggie. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's uh, cloudy and dreary here in Texas and also a little bit chilly but it's not freezing. Oh my goodness, meow. It's not freezing and it's not snowing. So you need to stretch your little cat paws. All right, hop out. Come on. Such a good boy. Such a good bee. Found a box. Jack's found a box. What are you gonna do with that box? I'm gonna sniff it and nuzzle it and inspect it. Yep. Yep. Okay, does it all check out? I decided to take a little break, guys. I'm actually going to go up to the Walmart here in Livingston. So I'm going to bundle up and put on some long pants and everything. I got to go get a few supplies. I got to get some fresh chicken to do my weekly prep meals and everything. So I'm going to go for a little ride and break up the day. I am done with all of my automatic uh, uh, payments and everything. Uh, and I started on my taxes. 
<laughs> what is it about that box? What a funny boy. So, uh, yeah, let's see. if I see anything interesting along my ride, I'll share it with you, though. Yeah. Bro, do you even sniff? Huh? Is your mouth open? What did you smell? What is it? Yeah, there there must have been this must have came from a cat house. This uh, Mickey jacket. <laughs> I got a backpack full of stuff I gotta get in the fridge soon, so I can't be out here playing long. But I did want to stop at this rest area because like I said, Texas is uh has that twenty four hour overnight parking rule at all of these. So I'm scoping them out and if I like one particularly I'll star it on Google so that when I'm in this area I may be able to enjoy a little piece of overnight parking. Also, the other reason why I'm not getting rid of this extra large Mickey jacket is because if I continue to lose weight, see I'm wearing a hoodie, I'm wearing a, a thermal top, a t-shirt, a thermal top, a hoodie, and the jacket. And so it's a little puffed up, won't be able to do that in a jacket that's too thin. So I'll definitely keep it, but I probably won't be keeping the one I just got on eBay. It's just too grungy and dirty and smelly and... I don't, I don't like it. But I like using the bike to uh, scope out either potential boondocking spots or just to kind of get an idea. So for this rest area, I would pull in the section I'm in right now and I would park the RV right there in those two slots right there because it's away from the uh, trucks over there. There's no rules here that say RVs can't be over here. I mean, I can't fit into single stalls like this with the RV, but there's one spot. Like I said, I'm going to write that in the notes that there's one spot for an RV away from the semis. All right, well, we got to head back, though. I did make a U-turn for this one, guys, because I thought something, like, bad was happening, and I was very, very confused. I'm very confused about this house and what's going on out the windows. Are you confused? Like me? What in the heck is that? It looks like a weird creature of sorts is sticking out of the side of the windows. I am very confused here. It is private property. I can't go past the fence, but I'm baffled. Oh my gosh, it's the other side too. This is as close as I can get to it. I don't know what in the heck is supposed to be sticking out of the windows, but I will not be buying this house. Oh my gosh, it's loud by the highway. All right, we gotta get back on the road now. It is loud around here. Well, I've just got back to the RV. I'm gonna throw some laundry in there while I'm here and do all my bed sheets and towels and big stuff and the floor mat and all that stuff. Gonna do that here and then uh, get back to working on my taxes. I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun, but you know, I'm, I might as well because I got, I got a place to stay. It's cloudy, it's cold outside. Tomorrow will be a better day. I stopped at a thrift store there in Livingston. And although they don't have a cassette tape, uh, you know, place right there over by the DVDs, I found two winners. I got two cassettes for Toto. Two of them. And they work great. I've already tested them inside. They're in really good condition. 99 cents a piece. What a steal, right? Somebody's doing some construction over there. Um, also, I got an, uh, an email up. No, it was through the app. I got an app update from AMC, you know, my AMC A-list that allows me up to three movies a week. At, at AMC's, and I believe me, I, I get my buddy's worth, man. I love seeing movies, even if I don't eat popcorn at them anymore. But something changed. They sent, sent me an email and said, hey, uh, we're only going to give you one theater now for the $20 price. You get to pick one theater in the country, and that's it. So I guess uh, just by word of mouth, it's been getting a lot more popular, and now travelers are, are we're, we're starting to do it more often, and so... They noticed that we would go to the really good theaters, you know, like sometimes it's a four or five dollar ticket. Other times, you know, you go to downtown Disney or Disney Springs and, you know, the IMAX or the Dolby can be over twenty dollars for one ticket. So you make that up, you know, just one ticket. Anyway, they jacked the price up five dollars if you want to make it an, uh, an international A-list. So instead of 20 plus tax, it's now 25 plus tax. And I've also heard rumors that that's going to go up to the normal 25 and 30 uh, at some point here in 2020. So they must be making some money, but they're also learning that, you know, we're getting a pretty good deal. So I'm going to continue it for at least a couple more months, possibly not into the summertime, though. I may drop it. I mean, you know, it's, I, I can watch movies in the RV with Jax and, yeah. <laughs> Got to have my fake fire. I can make it seem more real, just add some fake crackling sound in the background.
Anyways, guys, uh, back on the road tomorrow. Start some new adventures here in Texas. I hope you're going to be uh, following with me. It's going to be a, a fun couple months together. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys have a good one from Jax and I. We will see you next time on the channel. Bye, guys. <laughs>